Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be for April 2024. It is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past. No, we're not. We're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. Then we will pull a bunch of different oracle cards just to get as many messages as we can for you. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below the video or the about section of my channel. All right, so we're gonna pull an astrology card. We're gonna see what theme there might be, and then we'll start pulling tarot with your overall energy and the rest that we discussed. All right, let's see what the theme is. So it's the third house, house three, early learning, childhood relations, the rational mind and communication. Okay, we'll see how that plays into the reading. All right, so we're going to get tarot and get started with that. Let's see what we have for Gemini. All right, so your overall energy, we have the tower. And that's, to me, I just got this like, oh, hit in the face. The immediate reaction sometimes can be, uh-oh, what's going to fall apart? I don't feel like that's what it means. There's things that are going to be falling away from your life, but I don't think this is going to make you terribly uncomfortable or shock you beyond belief. I don't think it's one of those moments where you have to go, oh shit, you know, I don't like to cuss in my videos very often, but it just doesn't feel that way. It feels like, okay, like you're shedding some things from your life. There's just excess stuff that doesn't belong anymore that's being swept away. Let's see where this is going to take you this month. So the current energy, we have the three of cups in reverse with the page of swords and the world. Okay, something about you is starting to change. I feel like this is you with the Page of Swords. We can, it can be associated with social media, but it feels like there's a part of you that's watching what other people are doing. Maybe some of you are in a place where you don't really feel like spending time partying or being out. It doesn't matter what age you are because everybody has um, certain types of things that they like to do. And some people socialize greatly into, you know, their late, late years. But I just feel like this is more, you're watching kind of from an outside perspective. Maybe you're seeing what other people are doing and you don't want to participate much this month. And that could be something that's really shifting and changing for you. The tower could mean that as well. It makes sense because some aspect of yourself is changing so much that you're feeling it strongly with the world card because that's always a new cycle. And yes, there's constantly new cycles happening, but in this case, it feels like a bigger one. So you may be at a really pivotal time in your life, regardless of your age, where you just feel like you don't need and want the same things that you used to, which can be good. It can be a little uncomfortable when we, you know, as we grow, we change and we want different things. But right now I think you're kind of looking at things from an outsider's perspective and say, well, those aren't really the things that I want to be involved in anymore. I just heard it could be also that there's maybe some gossipy situations or people around you that do things like that. And especially if you've been going through your spiritual awakening, you're not going to have time for that kind of nonsense anymore. It just isn't something that's going to resonate for you. You're not going to have time for people's petty bullshit. Sorry, I've cussed twice now. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the near future. We have the pay. Yeah, because you're starting fresh. It's like a new emotional experience. It's a reset in your life. Making new decisions for yourself, doing the things that you love instead of maybe engaging in the things that other people love that make more sense to you. It's an opportunity right here. The fish is kind of popping out of this cup. So it's almost like it's catching your attention right now that something new and fresh is coming in. And you could find that, I don't want to say opportunities because that sounds something you know, around work or possible new relationships. I feel like this is just more you seeing things differently and wanting to experience different things in your life and deciding that the things that used to fulfill you don't. And maybe now you need something a little bit different. Hold on one second. Just dropped a couple of cards and I don't think they're necessary for this reading. All right, so let's keep going with the Page of Cups. Under that, we have the Queen of Swords 
and the Six of Cups. Interesting. There's somebody from your past that's afraid to speak up. And for some of you, you're like, I don't care. I don't even want to talk to people. But it could be that there are some significant changes around the things from childhood. So some of you could be shifting out of connections with people that you've had for a really long time. Or there are people who don't feel like they can approach you in some way. But somebody is definitely thinking about you. I don't feel like this is about lying. And sometimes it can be when you have the Queen of Swords. It just feels like, I don't know what else to say, but that you just don't want to have any part in it. So even if maybe you're thinking about somebody and this is somebody from your youth or their old friends, you could just be on different wavelengths now. Even if you've been friends for 30 years, you could feel like, okay, well, we just don't match anymore. So you'll get the message if it resonates for you. All right, so what you don't see coming, the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups, and then we have the Devil. Okay, interesting. The Two of Cups is Gemini. It is your card. Well, to me it is. I don't know why I'm saying that, but it feels connected to your energy. With the Devil, yes, there are things that we can feel bound to. We can feel bound to old friendships, or we can feel bound to people in our lives that we're deeply connected to. It could be even relations with um, siblings. And I, if you feel bound to it and it doesn't feel good to you anymore and you're needing to release it because you're not passionate about it the way that you used to, to be, that makes perfect sense. This is really about how your relationships around you are changing. So childhood ones, things from your past that you just don't resonate with anymore, how much you're starting to evolve and develop and change. And if you feel really bound to it or it doesn't feel good to you anymore, it feels toxic, whatever the situation is, whether it's people that you used to hang out with, go out with, or the activities you used to participate in, that's what I mean by you just don't feel inspired to go in that direction anymore. Like you're not just going out to go out or do things with people because they ask anymore. I think you're making a decision to step away from that, like I said, and Focus more on things that you really enjoy. All right, let's see what Spirit wants you to focus on. Knight of Wands. Okay, so I think this is preparing you for some new energies that are coming in, which means you're going to have to have the energy to focus because when you start getting revved up about the things that really do bring a lot of um, excitement into your life, you're going to need the energy to do so. And if you're having to shed these old parts of yourself in order to get to this place, that's what spirit wants you to be focused on is what are your next steps? Where is it that you want to take action in your life and do it with a lot of enthusiasm? So under that, we have the Hierophant and we have the moon. Okay. So if you can't see these things right now, right? Sometimes the moon is keeping us from seeing everything clearly, but I think what spirit's asking you right here to do is to have faith that even if you don't see what that next thing is, because there's always something new that we're going after. If you're not sure which leap to take, give them a little bit of time because they're going to reveal things to you over time. They, you know, it's not all just laid out for us in one easy, you know, I, I keep writing with my finger, like, like we have a notebook that we follow. It's just not laid out like that. So I do think there, there's some things that are still unseen but they're asking you to have faith and hang on because this is going to be a fun time. I feel like it's much, you're going to be much more enthusiastic. So it's a good thing. All right. So let's see if there's a challenge. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, you may not have reached certain goals that you've wanted to reach. That could be another reason why things are clearing out of your life. You're changing the ways that you do your day to day because you're wanting to achieve this kind of a goal. And maybe you don't feel like you have things where you want them. Um, so excess external stuff that keeps you distracted isn't going to be beneficial. So I feel like that may be part of the challenge or something that you've been feeling lately. Like, I just can't reach my goals. And maybe it's because, yeah, there have been a lot of distractions. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify this tower and see if there's anything more there for you. All right, so we've got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Interesting. So somebody that you were dealing with doesn't seem to be as engaged. Whatever gender they are, it doesn't matter. 
This can also be a shift in your confidence. So where you may have been feeling like you you lacked either the self-worth, the self-love, or were feeling very good about yourself, all of a sudden you are and you're taking much more action. So that's what's changing is your self-confidence, the way you value yourself, the way you see yourself. And then there's that King of Pentacles in reverse. Again, these are the things that are changing. So when they bring out the cards in reverse to me with the tower that way, that's what it's it's saying. These are the things that are changing. If you weren't feeling really secure um, or you weren't feeling as good about you, secure in your finances is what I meant. Then that's what's shifting. And then the Queen of Cups, not loving yourself. All of those things are changing. And when you start taking steps to shift the way you do day to day, it makes a significant change in the way that you feel, which I think is great. So the three of cups and the page of swords, see the knight of wands right here is in reverse and over here is what they want you to focus on. So if your current energy is not feeling very inspired, it's because there's still something that you need to be aware of as this cycle shifts. Because we have no control really over when these cycles end, they just do when they do. And I think you're just preparing for the time in which you're ready to start taking this type of action. Two of Cups. All right, something could be changing within, here it is again, your relationship. So you could see maybe some significant changes in the way you and your partner interact if you have one. If not, you could be meeting somebody new. Maybe you've had your eye, like you, you're finally in a place where you feel like you want to go looking if you're single. And that could be what's changing. But I feel like... People are really going to be seeing you more for exactly who you are and understanding you better because you have a better understanding of who you are. Page of Cups with the Queen of Swords in reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Something was just moving either really slowly or somebody's holding back some energy. And if they are and you don't really need to know about it, then I'd say don't worry about it. But it is just a message. It's like somebody fears approaching you or wanting to... Um, reach out and I don't I think it's because you're in a new place and yeah they're watching you that's kind of creepy <laughs> they're paying attention to what you're doing so if you feel like or know that people have been paying attention to the moves that you're making especially the ones that you start to walk away from because they no longer feel right in your life they're going to watch, or this could be an ex, yes, that's watching what you're doing and seeing how you're kind of starting fresh and new and where your life is today. Let's keep going. So what you don't see coming with the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups, Justice. So there's going to be balance in your relationships, which is great. Meaning the people who no longer belong and don't give what you give, they're going to go. It could be a significant relationship you're in. There's always a shift in dynamics in relationships. Sometimes one's giving more than the other, other times it flips, and then at some times we get into a place where we're really balanced, which I think is great. Now, the devil doesn't always have to be something toxic. This could be that things get really fiery and fired up in your relationship. So the intensity of it could be increasing over this month. Let's see what else. I like that because the three of swords is in reverse. So this isn't about pain. This is really about healing and deeper connection and more, more fire between you and someone. And if you don't have somebody, then this is what's coming because wherever you gave into relationships before where things weren't balanced, you're going to find somebody who really understands you at the core of who you are. And there could be a lot of passion there. But the reason I think it's taken to this point of, again, if you're not connected to someone now, is because there was healing that needed to be done. Or you could have met somebody new and it's taken some time for that to get to a place where it feels really intense because as soon as you heal from the past, you can start connecting much deeper to a current person. Let's keep going. So the Knight of Wands and the Hierophant. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is great. I don't feel like this is you giving up too much energy to other people. I think it's having faith that What's due to you is going to come to you. As long as you're always coming from this energy space, that's what's going to happen. And I think you do anyway. I mean, we all have our ups and downs, but keep the faith because yeah, stuff is definitely balancing out. 
And what you don't see right here with the moon, the Hierophant in reverse, that can be a little bit scary. And that's where Spirit's asking you, don't lose faith because you don't know exactly how things are going to unfold. Nobody really does. Even as a psychic, I can't see everything. I Believe me, I wish I could. I wish all of us could see things down to the nitty gritty details, but we just can't. There's only so much that we can be told and that Spirit will allow even me to give you because you need to learn certain things. There are certain aspects of this path that you're on that are going to be unseen and you have to handle them yourself, but they don't want you to lose faith. So this is about keeping the faith that, yes, whatever you're inspired to do, that you will regain that inspiration if you've been feeling a little flat. I've been saying this to everybody because of the eclipse season and even the couple of months prior to. Some people, it's been since the last eclipse season in October that things haven't felt quite right, where you've been a little, not just off balance, but unmotivated. Now with the challenge and the King of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Eight of Swords. So some of you feel like you're stuck in this place where you're never gonna get out of it, and you will. We all have to be kind of patient while these significant changes happen on a global scale, because there's only so much of that that we can control as well. So part of it is that, the collective going through this massive change, and also our individual changes that we, you know, the things that we really want to create, which for most people is stability, and I get that, and to feel good about where you stand in your financial life, which has been challenging for a lot. But if you're still feeling a little bit stuck there, Again, they keep guiding me back to here to don't lose faith. Don't lose faith. Your inspiration is going to return. You're going to feel fired up again. It's probably going to be after the other eclipse. We just had the new moon and this is, or the full moon. And now we're going to have the new moon, which is on the 8th. And things are going to feel a little bit different. So you could feel your energy pick up quite a bit in the next couple of weeks. All right, so what do we want to do next? Let's, I want to get, actually, I'm going to start with advice. Let's see what advice they have for you around this stuff first, and then we'll get the Oracle cards. All right, so the Four of Wands is in reverse. If there has been some upset within family, let's see what they're trying to say about this. There's going to be some healing. If there's been any conflicts around home, family, or just feeling a little displaced, the star tells me that there's some wish that's going to come true. It could be within a relationship or finding the person that you truly want to settle down with. But there's definitely healing around that as well. So hold tight. High Priestess, just trust. Trust what you're feeling about things. Trust what you're feeling about the people who may have felt like family or may have been connected to you for long periods of time. Um, there will be healing around those relationships that are lost, especially if they have to be uh, moved, removed from your life. And then we have the moon in reverse. Everything's going to be revealed to you soon. That's a good sign. And then the hermit. So yes, uh, sometimes you are going to have to go within. It could be isolation as well at times. It doesn't mean you have to be isolated all the time. For some of you, you may feel like you have been forever, especially during your awakening. But here I feel like they're just asking you to take a couple of moments and retreat. Whenever things seem to get a little bit overwhelming is to really honor yourself in those moments and do the best that you can. Do the things that you love the most at that time, whatever's going to make you feel the best. If you can take two hours out of your day, whatever it is, whatever time frame you have where you can just be by yourself and relax and not let everything external to you affect your energy, then do so. That would be the the biggest, I'll get the words out, I swear my brain's just not moving at normal speed today. I forgot what I was going to say. Let's get on to the next one. Sorry, guys. All right. So it says, seek your answers within, which is what has to do with the hermit card here. That's where you're going to find them. And there is a heart there. You know, only you really know what the answers are going to be. Not outside yourself. It's always going to be within. Stay strong. Okay. Change is unavoidable. So absolutely, if you feel like these massive changes have been super difficult, we know this. We logically know that change is inevitable, but it doesn't always feel really great when it's happening. And then see the signs. So the more that you go within, the more you 
separate your energy from everything that may be weighing on you, the more capable you are of seeing the signs around you and getting the messages. You're not going to miss anything that's meant for you, period. I don't care what people say about you're blocked or you're this or you're not seeing it because your brain's going, you're going to figure it out eventually. Within, it may not be in the time frame that you hope, but it will still show up for you. So if you can be more aware of the signs that are being shown to you, fantastic. All right, I do want to get a couple of cards as usual from the Lover's Oracle. Let's see what we get here. Okay, that's a cluster. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred for those of you that are in one. That's great. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay, so we got the world card and the new beginning. That's a good sign that something good is coming in. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And then power, you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. Okay, sometimes we need to be reminded of that. And I've, I think I say this to you guys all the time. Gemini, for some reason, it always comes out with you. Walk away power is the greatest power you can ever have in any situation. Because if you know your worth, you're going to say, I'm not going to tolerate anything. I don't care how badly it hurts. I'm going to walk away. Period. All right. Let's get the others. Come to the edge. So they're wanting you to, to just literally get fired up, come to the edge, let these things fall away, and just float into this next new cycle, another change. You could be 36, born on the 3rd, the 6th, or the 9th. And then we have poised. Do the best that you can to remain poised in these situations. Never let them see you sweat. I don't know why I wanted to say that. I have never said that in a reading before, but I feel like that's what you needed to hear. Never let them see you sweat. So you could be 48, born on the 4th, the 8th, or the 12th of the month. And then we have Yang. So this is much about you stepping into your masculine, regardless of your gender. It's very one-oriented. It doesn't mean you don't connect with or pay attention to the people in your life or love on the people in your life. It just means that you've got to take care of you first before you take care of other people. And you could find yourself very much in a place of I'm putting me first this month and then I'll take care of things for others if need be when I have the energy when I can. Regeneration. Great. So you have a nine and then you have the 10. So you could be 46, born on the fourth, the sixth, the or the 10th of the month. And this is what I feel like you're going through. So you could find that this six month period especially has been wearing you out and now is the time in April that you're gonna see how you're regenerating and what new things are gonna start coming in and the way you're feeling is different and the way you're seeing things is different. All right, so the last card I'm gonna get for you is the Australian Animal Oracle card. And we'll get the message from that. All right, so we have the butterfly. I mean, this couldn't be more perfect. We all know what the butterfly means. It's all about transformation and coming out. It does say transformation and then you have regeneration. So you are probably gonna feel like a version of you has shed itself and a newer version of you is coming out. So you could be 38, born on the 3rd, the 8th, or the 11th. Let's get the message for Butterfly. If I can get the 38 and if my glasses will behave today and I can read. Okay, so Butterfly is here to remind us of the beauty we can look forward to after experiencing darker times. So incredibly perfect for this reading. It invites us to embrace the transformation no matter how painful and have patience with the process. Butterfly asks you to trust in the transformation and have faith that the journey is worth is worth it for the beauty and freedom ahead. Transformation, patience, trust in the process. There you go. They're asking you to trust here. I think that just really sums up what we've been talking about in this reading. So I hope that this helps. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so much for being here. Please hit the like button and comment. I really do read the comments. So please, if you feel comfortable doing so, I like to share. It's just something that I ask. Um, yeah, of course it helps me connect up to your energy. So I appreciate it if you do comment. And if you would like a personal reading, as I mentioned before, the info is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Have an amazing month and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.